Hey everybody, Alan here. A uh, little update on a project I've been working on for some time. Uh, this is my new concrete pier uh, for my telescope. It's in my backyard observatory, uh, which I'm in right now. Uh, my backyard observatory is a small observatory. Uh, it's a sky shed pod. Um, basically, it's a little uh, observatory that's got like a half clamshell roof on it. Okay, and it's made out of high density polyethylene. It's very similar to, you know, like garden sheds, such as that thing over there that you might get at Costco or Sam's Club or some warehouse club like that. And except instead of being a shed, it's a little observatory. Um, and in this case, the roof, you can spin it around. There's little inline skate wheels that the roof rides on top of. And uh, basically, this is where I keep all my astronomy stuff, where I do most of my astrophotography. Um, and I needed a way to mount that, which is my German equatorial telescope mount, and mount it onto this uh, concrete pier. So, you can see we've got some L bolts coming out of the top of the pier. The pier is eight and a half inches in diameter. It's concrete. It's filled with rebar. It's in a footing that's two foot by two foot by two foot cubed. It's also filled with rebar. And so we've got some uh, galvanized L bolts that come out of the top here. Got some five eighths uh, by sixteen jam nuts. Uh, and then we've got like a stainless washer and then uh, these are like rubber washers and then <clears throat> what I made was these two plates here so I've got it's a uh, two plates a lower plate and an upper plate and this is going to be to mount the telescope uh, to the pier and so I'm going to put this together real quick and uh, show you how it works so I'm going to um, stop it here. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. I've got to uh, assemble the two plates together and then I'll show you how it works on the pier. Alright, be right back. Alright, uh, I'm back. Alright, so I've got this all put together. You can see we've got our top plate and our bottom plate made it together. We've got our one inch spacers in between. And I've got this captive um, bolt, 12 millimeter bolt running through here and that's what's actually going to screw the telescope on uh, or the mount rather and uh, that little square black thing there that's for the, uh, the azimuth uh, adjustment post for the, uh, for the mount that's just uh, left to right uh, once the mount is on the uh, pier so basically this has got some some slots in it and those are going to slide onto the bolts up here on in theory Okay, so you can see, let me slide down there into place, and we got our bolt down there at the bottom, and basically we've got about 20 degrees of adjustability, and then we can adjust the bolts up and down to level that out. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put the... Uh, some jam nuts on the top here get this level put a level on it and then I'll adjust the direction of this and lock it down so let me go ahead and get that done and I'll be back okay so I've got the level on it this is a um, <clears throat> machinist level so this is going to measure within five ten thousandths 
of an inch over 10 inches and you can see it's nice and level in, uh, in this direction here and then if we from side to side and then also uh, from north to south as well take a second for that to settle down looks like could use a little adjustment there the wrong way. Uh, all right, that looks pretty good there too. So put this over here in its box. All right, so that's basically done deal there. So we've got uh, uh, stainless steel jam nuts top and bottom, stainless steel washers, and then uh, the rubber washers. So the rubber washers uh, should keep it from marring that aluminum, should keep uh, damp dampen any vibrations down as well, and then also um, prevent a galvanic reaction taking place between the two dissimilar metals because we have galvanized steel here and stainless steel and then 6061 T6 aluminum and when you put steel next to aluminum you can create what's called a galvanic reaction where the two dissimilar metals cause uh, corrosion and we don't want that so that's the point behind the rubber washers um, but yeah that's bolted down it's level and uh, basically it's just a matter of putting the uh, uh, the telescope mount on at this point so I'm going to do that now and I need both hands for that so I'll be back in a minute okay uh, you can see I've got the uh, telescope mount uh, installed on the pier now and you can see you've got a nice nice finished installation looks really nice um, everything fits perfectly and and things dead level it's roughly polar aligned and uh, I'm real happy with how this all turned out and uh, yeah so basically now I've just got to go through do a full polar alignment uh, do a drift alignment and get it uh, perfectly aligned with the polar axis uh, so that the clock drive will accurately track the rotation of the earth which eh, that's a big pain in the butt but the nice thing is uh, with this setup with the pier and everything, once I get it dialed in, I shouldn't have to mess with it very often, if ever. Uh, should pretty much stay aligned for as long as it's uh, on this pier. So I've got my electrical in. Uh, that's basically just a power strip, and it's being held on to the pier with uh, a special kind of Velcro. It's a kind of Velcro that's for exterior use, and it's for use on concrete and brick. So it'll be interesting to see if that actually works. It's called Professional Extreme Velcro. Anyways, so that's what's holding that on. I've got a, this a USB focus controller. Can uh, control a motorized focuser from the computer. I've got two of those. And then I've got seven USB ports on the pier as well. Uh, for the focus controllers, my cameras, and, uh, and everything like that. So... Basically, the pier is set. I just need to do a lot of wiring and get the telescopes back on here, get my computers and everything else back out here, get everything wired up, tucked away, and we'll be ready to do some imaging, which it's been a while, so I'll have to remember how to do that. But um, yeah, so I'm very happy with how this has turned out, and I'll do another video uh, and maybe take some pictures and stuff once everything's back in the pod. So yeah, that's it uh, for this project. Thanks for watching and uh, more to come.